Anime has all sorts of genres, going from action all the way down to your shit taste. If there's anything that changed about modern weebs, it's that we don't really care if we have shit taste anymore. We just like what we like and we embrace it. There's still seasonal waifu wars along with the opai or ass debate, but over the years, a new religion has become popular that everyone can agree on, mostly. And that's thighs. Last season's Assault Thigh Bouquet was just KFC on crack advertisement to eat more thighs or be exposed to it. It was a show that if it didn't have that propaganda, I would have dropped it, but I didn't. Thighs are in a league of its own. Let's take a quick glance at some thigh things that are in the same field as thighs before venturing into the psychological reasoning why anime thighs make the world go round. First, opai. Opai is just the weave slang for breast, boob, fun-filled personality. It's the poster girl for fan service in most cases and is the most apparent and noticeable. What does a regular person walk into when they see you watching a sketchy scene? No. Besides your shit taste, opai. I can agree that some are great while others are too much. Then there are some that just defy logic and become a league of its own. The counterpart is oshiri, or to be classy, that ass. The backstory for some of the waifus that circle around the globe that is our sad lives too, come in different shapes and sizes, but not as noticeable as the top half. With the use of professional camera angles and having them do great poses for plot development, it's a feature that gets lots of attention when done correctly. Each have their own likes and dislikes between having justice to making like Texas because everything is bigger there, but the ultimate feature that stands above the rest that needs its own category is thighs. Thighs from anime to the real world are a blessing. Let me repeat myself. I never saw thighs the way I did until my exposure to anime. It has this thing where it has an emphasis on certain things and that certain thing just happened to be thighs. How can something so simple, so squishy, yet so delicate, appear so great. A balance introducing the legs and having the right proportions of the perfect spiral. Being thick is no longer an insult anymore, and thighs were a main part of that. Years ago, I've never seen so much thigh exposure, but thank Anime Jesus for this ongoing supper. Let's look at three main things that make thighs great. Firstly, the overall legs of the characters in question. In a small way from running long distance for 8 years, I can appreciate legs from a different perspective both visually and physically. The tone and shape can tell us a lot about their overall physical healthiness. Let me tell you, the thighs have some of the biggest muscles and seeing big thighs on waifus just lets me know that hot damn healthy babies <laughs> yeah she's fake but the reaction i get from seeing it is real cringe no accepting a new religion yes if the legs were just one shape like if the thigh was never calmed down and the whole leg was just one log i don't want to have a tree as a waifu the thigh is the separation and proportional standard that separates good from bad ones having too much makes it look weird but having too less is a stick bug you just got stick bugged. Secondly, the clothing apparel to support and enhance thighs. Skirts to thigh high socks makes me heart makes it hard to not notice and take a peek at what's obvious to see. Absolute territory. The place between the thigh high sock and the skirt in question. The little plump extension escaping from the sock forever expanding dreams of males at simp to first class businessmen investing in it. Clothing works wonders. What you wear can change a person's idea of you. For example, if you don't wear anything, people won't know what to think about you. It's not just thigh high socks or the skirts because swimsuits and pants do a similar effect if not the same. Swimsuits are a given because it's showing almost everything without going into R18 district and most pants worn are usually close to skin tight, outlining the perfect proportions and all. God, now, now that I think about it, this sounds kind of weird. I'm talking about anime, okay? <laughs> Thirdly, the overall physics. The squishy and expansion it does when they sit to doing other activities such as existing can't go unseen. It also comes down to the golden three number ratio of having slightly bigger hips while not taking away from the other two regions mostly focused on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, quick little vid that was on my mind because it's good to share the great things in life. Life gave you lemons while it gave me anime, and thighs are the sugar that makes it sweeter. Waifus may be fake and I know I'll never see her, but knowing thighs are life, I'm still a believer. Needless to say that my opinions aren't facts. To keep it short and simple, until next time, that. I'm bad, and I'm musically challenged.